Gobert sets a high screen for Mitchell. Sheds his defender in Beverly. Waltz is down the lane. And Gobert just slaps it up and in for points six and seven for Utah. Think how hard Paul George had to work to get that shot off. And then in the end, which, if you don't make it, all that hard work went to waste. Good foul inside by the Clippers. And then I'll report back on the findings. Nevertheless, Rudy Gobert seems to be in the Jazz's crosshair. They know they've got to keep him. And so I would sign that as fast <laughs> as I could. <laughs> you and I'd be sprinting over there. Gobert gets a couple of free throws. Pat had some scoring done in the first quarter. Gobert challenges Zubats a whistle and a foul will send, I believe, Rudy to the line for two. Runs out. Speaking of extensions, of course. Clipper fans only concerned with the one for Paul George and hopefully one that follows this summer for Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz. They'll lead going into the break. The question will be by how much. John Tucker is out the former teammate of Mitchell. Spoon feeds Gobert and he powers it in. And I know this because my son Henry just did a project on the history of basketball. I believe it came in in 79 and 80. Was that it? As Bogdanovich okay. knocks down the three. 76 66 Clippers trail by 10 Clarkson controls for Utah. You hate to see him miss a shot don't you. <laughs> I, I, I really believe that was a pass. There is Gobert who lays it in. He was asked about the Paul George extension. The two are very close friends. In fact Reggie stayed at one of PG's houses here in Los Angeles during the quarantine as Gobert punches at home.